Canada is truly an Arctic nation. The Arctic makes up over 40% of our landmass and includes nearly three quarters of Canada's coastline. It's an essential part of our national identity and our climate. The Arctic is really the air conditioner for the Northern Hemisphere. So the Northern Hemisphere heats up, it warms up. A lot of this heat is transferred to the Arctic where it then escapes to space. So the Arctic cools off the whole Northern Hemisphere. 1,000 kilometers from the North Pole, a team of researchers has set up a research facility to study atmospheric changes over the Arctic. What is extremely alarming is how rapidly things are changing. The easiest thing to look at is the temperature record, which is far above anything else that's happening on the planet. Over the last 30 years, we've seen well over a degree in temperature change, which is really very significant. To put it in context, the difference between an ice age and now is about six degrees change in temperature. So one degree so far is, is a significant change. And that can have devastating effects. The polar ice cap, for example, is shrinking. Every summer it gets smaller and smaller. There's been about a 10% decrease every decade over the last three, four decades. The Arctic relies on being frozen for most of the year. Um, if that condition is violated, then all sorts of things happen. If sea ice doesn't form, then transport patterns are disrupted, not just for the animals, but also for humans. If you warm up the Arctic, the permafrost, which can be up to 70% water, will thaw. The hydrology is changing so rapidly that the land is disappearing and melting under the very feet of the people who live there. What we see happening in the Arctic should be of real concern to everyone, because changes in the Arctic will impact the rest of the world. As we put more pressure on the planet, we're going to need to move into the Arctic to use its resources. Uh, mining and uh, oil and gas exploration and so on are already going on in the Arctic. And because the Arctic is so fragile, we need to make sure we don't mess it up because those activities can be very disruptive and without a thorough understanding of the system, then we could do a lot of damage. And the damage will be done before we realize it and then it will be very hard to undo. I think it's essential that Canada is at the forefront of this kind of research. We have a vast Arctic territory that we're responsible for, so it's important that we are good stewards of that land, that we are good stewards of the environment uh, in the Arctic.